Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How you're doing today? It's Sunday. It's very cold in the UK. I think it was actually snowing this morning. Not that I saw it because I was in bed. I got up pretty late, but the clocks did go forward, so that's my excuse. <laughs> my Saturday night was spent crafting, actually, which is something I have not done in a while. I'll show you what I've been making. I told you that I was going to do some more spring decorations for my shop, so I got out all my coloured foam and I made some more flowers, which I'm so pleased with. I think I'm going to make a load more as well. I just want to fill my shop with loads and loads of flowers so that when people walk past they have got something really pretty to look at. And I also bought some actual, like, real flowers or plants to grow uh, here, which I picked up from the supermarket yesterday. A carnation and a fuchsia and something else. A perennial plant. And I got that because I think they're supposed to, like, last all year round so provided I look after them and water them regularly it should be really nice but I want to basically get this little area out here all nice and tidy get some plants in pots and yeah just make it really nice so I've got some flowers for spring and summer because when it's a nice day it is like such a sun trap there so things should hopefully grow really well. Anyway, how are you all feeling? Let me know. Let's start up a conversation in the comments and get some positivity going. I've been pretty good, to be honest. Like, I've had a really good week. I've been feeling happy and motivated and just enjoying life. God, my neighbour's got her, like, TV or radio really loud next door. It's kind of funny. Um, but then last night, I definitely felt the anxiety kick in. It was really weird. I was just, like, I was on a high, to be honest. I was listening to all my favourite tunes and just, like, prancing about. And then I suddenly dipped. It almost came out of nowhere, and I started to feel quite sick and I was getting like really hot and flushed and I was like oh my god um but I was like no it's fine Claire it's fine like it's just in your mind it's just a little bit of anxiety you're okay like I just kept breathing um I just like put on some music like kind of healing calming music I just carried on with my crafting one thing I had noticed is I, when I was listening to music, I was listening on Spotify. Now, I don't have Spotify premium. I know, hard times. Um, and during the little, like, ad breaks, there was this announcement in them, like a government announcement. And that's what it said. It was like, this is an announcement from the government. Um, and it was just saying, like, don't go out unless it's for necessities. You're only allowed to go out once a day for exercise, uh, don't meet up with people, don't meet up with like friends or family, protect your NHS. And it was just a bit weird, like it felt very controlling. I didn't like it at all. There's just something really off about this whole thing. And I'm not, oh, I don't know, like I'm not really a I'm not a big fan of the system. I know that I'm part of the system because I live in this society. I run a business, like you can't really not be part of it. But I'm aware that it exists and I don't get like too involved in it, shall I say? I understand why all this is happening from a higher perspective and I really do see it as a good thing. I know it's hard times for a lot of people but this is happening for a reason and there's a lot of positive stuff going on, I promise. But I also think there's a lot going on behind the scenes, like stuff is being hidden from us in a way. I'm not saying it's like some conspiracy or it's like been set up and created by the government and we've all just been fooled, like not quite like that, but I think there are people who maybe 
taking advantage of it, like people who are in power and they are like tapping into us through different sources, like literally everywhere, they're tapping into us through the media and all social media, even like YouTube and as I say, Spotify is coming through just, even as you walk about and like advertisements, I was walking past a bus stop the other day, you know the little adverts, or the big adverts on the side of the bus stops, it was all just all over there and like you can't get away from what is happening right now and there just seem to be all these like hidden messages and I don't know I'm kind of aware that we've all been programmed from a young age and as I say like we just can't really avoid that when we live in this society but I've said it before we have to be so careful to what we tune into okay like I always have been and even I am finding that it's affecting me as someone who doesn't listen to like the radio or watches TV or any of that but it uh, it's just everywhere so make sure that you have time to yourself alone with no distractions pretty easy at the moment because we're all at home just sit in a room without your phone with with just nothing and just be connect with yourself this is the process of meditation i've talked about it before the importance of meditation i've been doing it for like five years now every single day i never miss a day i do 20 minutes you really don't have to do that long you could do like five minutes a day but i promise you like this will help you massively because it's so easy that you're know, like when we're feeling a little bit anxious or stressed or worried we immediately turn to like social media or we'll put on the news or something because we want that like comfort we want something to make us feel better we want a distraction and although it helps in the short term like it gives us a bit of a hit like maybe a dopamine hit or whatever long term it just actually makes the anxiety and stress and worry and fear so so much worse so although it's the most difficult thing to do don't run away from the feeling don't run away from the emotion i've talked about this in a lot of my videos my spirituality sunday series please do go and check it out honestly it will help you so so much run towards the feeling and really feel it let that emotion come up and watch it don't judge yourself just just feel and the more that you can do this the more that they'll pass more quickly and you'll soon start to feel better as I say at first when you start it, it will be very difficult and painful but that pain will soon like sort of transcend into peace I guess that's what I've found so make a practice of doing it every time it happens just slow everything down and start to become aware, be aware of your thought process and just be with those feelings rather than immediately trying to distract yourself with something. Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. I'm always scared, like, I don't want to say too much. What if they're watching this? What if my video gets taken down? We don't know what's happening, we don't know what's going on. It's all okay though. It's all okay. Anyway, uh, let's get on to something lighter. I'm, well, I'm actually gonna go and meet a friend from a distance, so don't worry. We're just gonna like, maybe go for a little walk or something. It'll be good to get out, even though it is very cold. Um, so yeah, I basically came here to bring in my flowers and I was gonna like continue with my kitchen painting, but I don't think it's gonna happen today. I'll show you how it's looking. It's not that exciting because it is literally just white, but at least it looks really fresh and clean. So I've pretty much done that wall um, and I've started on these ones. I'm getting a new splash back for my sink as well, so it's a bit of a mess. Hope that I'm back. pretty pleased with how it's all going. I will maybe continue that tomorrow. My neighbour lent me his, his stepladder because I don't own one probably should get one but he wants it back tomorrow so yeah I feel this paint job like 
could end up taking me a while but then at the end of the day there's no rush really because I'm not doing a huge amount of baking at the moment I have actually done two cakes today in fact I'll go and show you those in a minute um and I've got a few orders like dotted about in fact I had a couple more coming in but I'm actually at the point now where I might have to start turning people away not because I want to like I really could do with that money it will at least help me pay some of my bills because as I've said before I've always been very open and honest it is my only source of income it would be nice if I earned some money off YouTube but at the moment I don't so please help me out give these videos a thumbs up subscribe to my channel all of that um but yeah basically there's a real shortage of flour I don't know if anyone's noticed I don't understand why like who is buying all the flour I didn't think people could bake to be honest but like you cannot get it anywhere I have looked in literally every single supermarket around here like every single shop I was looking online last night even went to like bigger wholesalers and it's just out of stock so even if people do place an order with me I'm gonna have to like say no because I have no flour uh, which is really frustrating actually um, that did get me down a little bit actually it's like, oh my god how what, uh, what am I gonna do but again you know just gotta like accept the situation it is what it is there's only so much you can do and I guess because I've been through a lot of hard times myself like something like this I'm able to deal with it quite easily I stay very happy and positive and calm that's my kind of normal state of being anyway so you know it's okay life will continue to go on um yeah, so I'll quickly show you. I'll quickly show you my cakes if you want to see them. I don't know. <laughs> They're just chilling in the fridge. I've actually done a um, like Beauty and the Beast inspired bell one. Um, so here we go. There she is, Belle, and a really chocolatey one, which is absolutely huge. This family have ordered it. They're probably going to get it and be like, "Oh my god, how are we going to eat all this?" Because like. Obviously no one's having parties, so it's like we've got nobody to share the cake with, but hey, I think in times like this, we need cake more than ever, right? 